Yeah, it's been great uh, working with the team here at UROC. Initially, the goal was to create a piece that reflected the many cultures that are here at the school and to show how students integrate and overlap with each other. And that came to be through a series of conversations with students and staff. I got to know a little bit about the history of the area and also the history of the school in a way that I wouldn't be able to. The biggest thing that gets in the way of making a mural is the weather. We had a couple of days of rain, so on and off. We put up a tarp at one point. My whole team is from Chicago, so it's kind of like no matter what the weather does, we have to finish. So I'm very fortunate to have a team of artists that I work with. Since this is my piece, I'll usually do the finishing touches, but they help me with every step of the way, wrap up as much as we can together so that nobody's sitting around <laughs> just watching paint dry. <laughs> I found that it was really unique to, to know that this campus is actually doing something that I think the world should be doing better, which is integrating with each other and learning from different cultural groups. Being able to see how people react, I think, is one of the most valuable parts of creating public art because it allows you to see, like, is the work that I'm creating visually actually triggering emotion or getting people to react and respond? Are those conversations that I want to spark happening based on what they're seeing on the wall? Thank you.